Easter Island is one of the most isolated islands on earth. Early settlers called the island Te Pito o Te Henua, officially a territory of Chile. It lies far off in the Pacific Ocean, roughly halfway to Tahiti, known as one of the world's sacred sites. It is most famous for its enigmatic giant stone busts built centuries ago, which reflect the history of the dramatic rise and fall of the most isolated Polynesian culture. Okay, okay. The English name of the island commemorates its European discovery by Dutch exploration vessel on Easter Sunday in 1722. Legend says that the people left for Easter Island because their own island was slowly being swallowed by the sea. The islanders prospered due to some advantages like they it yielded a uh, abundant earth rope and canoes. A reflection of this is the religion which sprouted in their leisure which had at its center piece the giant moai or heads that are the island's most distinctive feature today. These moai which the island is littered with are supposed to have been depicted of ancestors Its presence likely was considered a blessing or watchful safekeeping eye over each small village the ruins of Rano Raraku crater the stone quarry where scores if not hundreds of moai sit today is a testament to how central these figures were to the islanders and how their life revolved around these creations the greatest mystery to the science is that why it is not able to explain it is a just a small island in the center of pacific the nearest distance is 4200 kilometers that is the Chilean border and the other side is the Tahiti which is 3,700 kilometers. How people lived here? Who made these big giant statues uh, that two in stones and how they moved? This is a great mystery science yet to understand. In this lot of research has been done by many many universities. Still we have not concluded everything. That is the beauty of Easter Island. Very, very few families are there. You can just see their faces. How they have the tattoos on their faces. Yeah, she is a virgin. But late in the evening, I've been to the statues it's a beautiful scenes to watch at everybody comes here it's nice to see the sunset in front of these statues in East Island it's a feast to the eyes Island. This is the next day. I took a full day tour with Mr. Christian, the local guide, to the total tour of the Easter Island National Parks. And it's some statues. The name is Tiki. Is the representative. Easter Island features two white sand beaches. 
One is Anakena on the north side of the island, which is an excellent shore break body surfing location with a bit of north swell. The second beach is a hidden gem called Wawahe, found along the southern shore of the island near Ahu Wahiyo. With a technique from the oral tradition. Okay. We will talking about the technique more later. But the interesting thing is to see that this moai was used for this theory, and to see the landscape, the difference of landscape between. <laughs> As we move further south, we find lot of statues like this. These statues were restoration, means German has paid lot of money to restore back this, to retain the heritage of this island. Hi Kumar, you are the first Indian people who arrived here and on the front of this beautiful platform with the wife. The name of the site is now. As Mr. Christ told I am the first Indian to visit here this place it's a really beautiful place and a really mysterious place I asked him where the source of stones the rocks for this then we found just opposite to this the big quarry from there they used to get the stones and then carve these big statues the question is that how they are able to move this from there to this long distance. This is really a mystery again. There are nearly 874 big statues like this. So this still people have not understood how they have done and then where is the source of rock for them and how they shifted from such a long distance without the help of a crimes and all. This is really, really not understood yet. The German government has paid money to restoration of this. Japanese came forward, but this handling of this statue is very, very difficult. If you see this, it's almost deteriorated, becoming mud. Some of the crowns are so big, it's more than the height of a person, about six feet and diameter is so big. You can just see taller than me and then how to replace this on the top of this statues was a very very difficult task if you just come behind these statues there's a huge Pacific Ocean and these are always troubling the statues these waves when it increases will come and keep hitting the statues thereby it deteriorates further in 1960, there was a huge tsunami which has attacked the Easter Island. The, the strength of the tsunami was so high, it pushed the statue and one of the statues has been taken away from this place to the distance of 100 meters. The archaeological department has made a research and then start searching every part of this island and finally they found about 879 statues like this and some of them are much more than 20 meters almost 60 feet and then they weighing about more than 60 to 70 tons after lunch we enter the archaeological park in this region you can just see wherever you see a lot of uh, statues over here and because the source of the rock is very close by we have a rocky mountain close by from here they will used to make the statues and move Here, the, the, they used to make these statues from the mountain and slowly glide down uh, to the surface and then start moving towards the place where they wanted. This is almost 
the end of the the Maoin culture and then that's how the most of the some of the statues are not been fully made and some of them is left which has almost stuck in the ground these statues almost nearly 12 feet this is a very famous uh, statue photograph you can see in lonely planet and most of the uh, Easter Island information so now that's what this is the this is the biggest statue which they carved and then not able to take it out from the from the rock you can just see so long nearly 20 feet start dying and then I would really do not know where exactly they went and how it has been collapsed as I told you sunset in this region is really wonderful to watch us it's a beautiful sunset the last day in Israel and the third night in the Easter Island and next day morning we are packing and taking the flight back in the afternoon back to Lima the distance is around 4,000 kilometers and the time taken is around five and a half hour journey from Easter Island back to 